Hi, this is Monique. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do tech reviews and how-to videos, and I publish three times a week. So don't forget to subscribe. So today I'm talking about these Under Armour HOVR women's running shoes. I don't know, maybe that's a little bit easier to see. It's really bright, it's white. I like the color of them. I'm gonna talk about them, how much they cost, and I'm gonna kind of talk about how they actually fit, if they're really cool or not. So keep watching. Okay, so I've got these shoes. I got them from Sports Check. And you know, there aren't a lot of really cool wearable tech shoes that you can get. Um, I was talking to some of the clerks at this store and they were like, Under Armour is one of the only companies in our area where they have like technology in the shoe. Like what I mean is you can use an app to kind of track it like a Fitbit. It tracks like your fitness and everything on the app, which is really cool. So I'll show you the app later on in this um, review. But basically, this is what the shoe looks like. It's really cool, multicolor. It's not too rude or anything like that. I like the fabric. It's like uh, kind of like a mesh over top of the shoe. And I like how chunky it is, kind of. I have like tendonitis in my feet, so I need like shoes that are really, you know, substantial. They can't just be like flippy or floppy or anything in here because like my toes are feeling numb. So it, I like that, but I don't like how like puffy it is at the back or anything. But other than that, I really like it. It's called the HOVR Infinite, and that's what it is on the tongue. Um, it looks like this inside. So that looks pretty cool. One thing that I didn't like actually was like lacing it up. It feels kind of like chunky right there with the tongue. Lacing it up, it makes your feet feel like they're like uh, swollen almost. Um, Cause it is kind of hard. I've been wearing these shoes for about a month now and they're still really hard, like really hard to bend and stuff. So I don't know, maybe that's because of the technology in that or just the sole is really thick. But I like the way they look. So I wore them without the app working and tracking for like about a month. And so I got on the treadmill today just to show you guys, you know, what it looks like or what the tracker looks like. Basically, we're not moving anywhere. We're just um, on the treadmill. So if like I was walking in a different city, it would track throughout wherever I walked, like in the park or whatever. So maybe at a later date, I'll put it on my Instagram so you guys can see where I went for my workout. But I just basically did a 20 minute jog and I wore the shoes. So that's what it looks like. Like I said, uh, the look and feel is nice. It's cool that there's some shoes that actually look kind of cool and not ugly or anything like that for ladies at like sports check and stuff. One thing I noticed at that store, that's where I buy a lot of shoes and stuff or I buy them online. Um, they have like a women's only store now. So you don't have to like um, fight with guys to get attention from the clerks to get the new shoes and stuff like that. But it also sucks because you don't have access to the, the men's shoes. So that's one thing. So another thing I wanted to show you guys was the actual app. So one thing that was really different was I had an Android phone before and I could not download the app with an Android phone. So I don't know, maybe there's some sort of glitch with Android, but I couldn't download it for it to work. So it works with my Apple iPhone and open the app. So one thing was cool, I was able to watch YouTube videos while I was on the treadmill and the app was working in the background. Cause you know, sometimes you like, switch to another application and it closes your application not just minimizes it so it minimized but it said that i i'm not going to cover this but it said that i um was working out for like 40 minutes or something like that and i think it said that i had like 100 calories i'm going to stop it 
You can listen to your own music in it too, which is cool. I haven't loaded any songs in it, but it has a map of where you live and like it's tracking your shoes, you're tracking in here. So it is a little creepy that it can track you wherever. It says, great workout, Monique. Yes, it was good. I liked it. I did 111 calories, which is pretty good for just like 20 minutes on the treadmill. That's not even a meal, <laughs> but it's pretty good just for a test out. And remember, I do have tendonitis, so that's really awesome. I like that the app worked. It tells you what kind of shoe that you're using. It gives you a lot of different kind of like variables in the app too. So that is a really kind of like a bonus. So I'm gonna close the app right now. But these shoes were a little bit, well, they're not really that pricey. It was like $111, I think. So, you know, that's pretty good for like the technology that's in the shoe and for an actual runner. Like runners or sneakers now are like 100 bucks, 75 to 100 bucks, just like for regular women's runners. So to have something that's got like, you know, Bluetooth technology in it and like, you know, an app that goes along with it, that is pretty awesome. So I really, really love these running shoes. It's just too bad I can't wear them to work. I should have thought about getting an all black color just so I could wear them to work, but I don't think they have all black, so we'll see. But I am a size eight and a half, so I'm really lucky. That's like a really common size. I think that's six and a half in men's too. But yeah, it tells you right on the tongue that there's got like Bluetooth technology in it. It's really cool. And yeah, I would recommend getting these shoes. This is my first review of running shoes, but it looks really cool. I like that you can take the insoles out as well. I'm not gonna take my insoles out. They are comfy. But you pull the tongue back and you can see the sizing chart inside of it. And there's a QR code in there too, where you can look up the shoe and get more information too. So if you like these shoes, leave a comment. Um, if you found there was a problem with these shoes and you tried them, uh, leave a comment in the section below there too. I'm gonna do another review on shoes tomorrow as well. Those are Nikes. But yeah, so this video has been about my Under Armour Run shoes and the workout that is tracked with these shoes. Bye.